I think it's a terrible loss. I think that it's a terrible loss, obviously, to his family and, and to the world. And I think that it highlights um, that colorectal cancer can be tragic and that we are increasingly seeing patients that are younger and younger that are being diagnosed and unfortunately dying from this disease that we hope will increasingly become preventable. The most common signs are rectal bleeding, a change in the size or as we call caliber of stool. Usually people experience a thinning of their stool. People may also experience a difference in the consistency of stool or with the ease of which they're having bowel movements. So they may start experiencing intermittent constipation. It's still more common in, the, in patients that are over the age of 50. Um, but we have seen a trend, particularly in the last 20 to 30 years, of a larger incidence of colorectal cancer in the younger population. Um, we've seen that probably greatest in the 40 to 50 year old population, but we are also seeing a rise in patients in their 20s and 30s that have colorectal cancer. And I think that there are some medical conditions that put people at higher risk. So there is inflammatory bowel disease, there is a personal or family history of colorectal cancer. So there are some genetic abnormalities that we know of that put you in a higher risk category. And then there is also demographics. Um, and so we know that the incidence of colorectal cancer is higher in both the Black and Alaska Native population. So there are a number of screening uh, options that are available. The, the gold standard is still doing a colonoscopy or having a colonoscopy. And that is when there is a camera that evaluates the entire lining of the colon and rectum. The benefit is that it can see small polyps, which is where we think most cancers come from, and it can remove them or biopsy them. So it is not only diagnostic, but therapeutic as well. So once you have symptoms, it tends to be more advanced. Um, we know that for most people, colorectal cancer starts as abnormal polyps, so precancerous cells. And that's really what we're trying to identify with colonoscopy. And the hope is that we will be able to, to see polyps before they have an opportunity to turn into cancer. But yes, many late stage polyps, early stage cancers, you will be asymptomatic from. So UW Medicine is doing research not only in trying to uh, work on therapeutics and diagnostics, so not only working on trying to understand where colon cancer comes from, but is also doing research in the clinical front. So we're a number of a number of clinical trials looking at how best to treat colorectal cancer, both in its early stages and its advanced stages. And we also are doing studies looking at access to care. So looking at our community, looking at disparities in access to care, not only for multidisciplinary colorectal cancer care, but colonoscopies as well.